Macedonian authorities have placed restrictions on people coming from Greece, leaving thousands of refugees stranded. Sinisha Yakov Marusic joins us from the Macedonia capital. Uh, Sinisha Yakov, thank you for coming on now. Uh, what's the current situation on uh, main border crossings between Greece and Serbia? Macedonia is certainly feeling the pressure on these two border crossings, the Tabanovce border crossing with Serbia the, on the north and on the south, the main entry point for migrants, uh, 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 the Gevgelia border crossing uh, with Greece. Uh, right now, the situation seems particularly problematic uh, on the border crossing with Serbia, where about 1,000 people, uh, I'm getting reports that they are Afghan, Syrian and Iraqi nationals, remain stranded there after Serbia returned them. And on top of that, there are additional 700 uh, uh, Afghani nationals uh, who are uh, also stranded there for the fifth day uh, after not being able to continue their journey further north. On the other hand, the border crossing with, with Greece, Macedonia uh, feels pressure there as, as well, because uh, although at the moment situation is calm, uh, uh, my latest information tell that uh, on the Greek side there are several thousand refugees and migrants stra stranded, hoping simply to pass uh, to Macedonia and further nor north, creating uh, at moments uh, a tense atmosphere. Uh, Macedonian authorities have said that only uh, uh, since the year starts some 80,000 people have uh, transited the country, which is a huge number for a, a small country like Macedonia. Uh, definitely. I mean, what are the Macedonian authorities saying uh, at, let's say, for instance, uh, Yevgelia? Um, what are their fears? I mean, do you think the country is getting enough help from the EU uh, to handle this influx of people? Well, basically, Macedonia is along this transit route, and, and of course, the main fear among Macedonian authorities and people as well is uh, the country becoming uh, a waiting room for migrants and refugees, just as Greece de facto now is, uh, especially after Austria imposed a cap on asylum uh, claims, limiting their numbers. So right now, uh, the crisis management center is in emergency sessions, uh, trying to figure out what to do. And uh, the latest word from the Macedonian foreign minister is that uh, he basically said today, uh, for, uh, asked for the EU institutions to give Macedonia and other Balkan countries much clearer instructions okay. on what to do uh, and what rules to apply, referring to the very often mm -hmm. dissonant tones coming from the different EU countries. He said that Macedonia will continue preventing Afghani nationals from traveling the country as long as other countries further north pre prevent them uh, from traveling as well and return them back to Macedonia. And uh, Macedonia okay. is actually asking for uh, greater help in that uh, financial as well. Okay. Sinisha Yakov, Marusic, joining us live from Skopje. Thank you very much for that.